Hey, what's going on everybody? Happy New Year, 2011 is here. I got five zines to review. Today we're gonna start with Media Junkie. I got this from my prison pen pal Kirk down in Florida. Um, it's one sheet of paper. Um, it reviews uh, various anarchist and leftist and libertarian and progressive type literature. A um, bunch of different like anarchist newspapers and things. I don't really read a whole lot of anarchist literature. Um, but I wanted to show this just because if you if you are the type of person that enjoys that type of thing, this seems like a really good uh, resource. Not exactly my my deal, not my cup of tea, um, but I like the layout of it. I like the simplicity of it. I like that it's just like one sheet of paper, you know, very simple. You could probably go right in the mail. It's out of New York. Um, I'll put the address up there for you. And if, uh, if you're interested in anarchist writings, this is probably a good little thing for you. Um, good friend of mine, Mr. David, got me a subscription to this thing called One Story. One Story, um, I think once a month they send out uh, a little booklet, a little pamphlet, and it's one story. Um, this particular one is all about this strange girl who's very, very tall, and um, I, I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually, and it's kind of like, I like the idea. You can go to onestory.com, and, um, and you can sign up, and... Once a month, you'll get a story in the in the in the uh, mail, and I, I think that's like such a cool idea. So um, I wanted to put that out there in case anyone is interested in that. Yay! Yay! Um, I haven't read Lower East Side Librarian in a long time, and I was very happy. Um, this just sort of magically appeared on my doorstep. Um, thank you, Jenna. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Jenna's really funny. You know, I've met her a couple times. We've emailed. We've been pen pals. Um, she kind of seems to have this like, Jenna, you got this weird like love-hate relationship thing going on with zines where um, you want your zine to be good, but you're afraid that it's not. And what if people don't like it, but you still have like this, it's like extrovert versus introvert. Like you got to put your soul out there into the world, but then you're kind of like afraid of what people might think of it. And I totally can relate to that because I've gone through that. And I think most zinesters have at one point or another. Um, this, this particular issue is... Um, well, it's got a lot of stuff in it, and it has sort of a, a journal feel. It feels like you're reading straight out of her secret diary, which I always like. That's like a good persing to me because um, she talks about things she's scared of, things she's going through. She talks about work. She talks about relationships a little bit, talks about her cats. Um, she has a, a section called 15 Authors where she talks about different um, books and zines, and it's like the desert island thing, like what zines would you take to a desert island that you would have have to read for the rest of forever? You know, which zines are so good that, that that's what you would do. And I really like that because I, I knew some of the zines and agreed with some of them because, you know, I'm a nerd like that. I tell you what, like, like, I'd really like to go to New York and just hang out with Jenna for like a week and just talk about zines like crazy, talk about books like crazy. Um, a little map in the middle, that's fun. In case you've never read it, I guess I should sort of show you how it is. Um, sort of like a computer layout with like random drawings and different little things in there. Um, it's good, it's fun, Jenna's sweet. Um, that's pretty wicked. <laughs> it's like a strange drawing. Um, I like it, I like it. Um, it's good stuff, New York. New York, New York! Um, Three zines from New York. Now we're kicking it to the West Coast. Basic Paper Airplane. I got this from Ms. Pal Ms. Pallery, blah, blah, Ms. Valerie Park Distro um, out of Olympia, Washington. Um, never dealt with with that distro, but now uh, now me and JJ are like best friends. Um, I don't I don't know why in all my years of zine making I've never used I've never done a vellum cover. Cause like does I, every time I see a vellum cover, vellum is sort of like paper, but it's sort of like see through. You can't really see through it on the camera, but um, but see how there's like this, but then when you press it tight, you can see the words underneath. It's such a great effect. Journal song I know did one like that. And a couple, you know, every now and then you'll see um, zines that use a vellum cover, and I think my next one I'm gonna have to do a vellum cover because it's so great. Um, the layout and look of this zine is beautiful. I love it. Um, basic paper airplane number four it's all about family it's all about um this dude joshua talking about his family history his family tree his ancestors um who are in like pacific northwest slash canada um and then his ancestors go back to the to the iceland so it's got like it kind of like oscillates between like 
my grandma did this and my grandpa did this and here's a little bit of history of ancient Iceland and then my mother moved from here and this happened this and uh, remember when all those bad things were happening in Iceland and people immigrated to North America <laughs> so it's kind of got like like I learned a lot about Iceland which I don't know much about and that was really really fun and exciting um, the layout is great it's half like typewriter um, like this is all done I it might be a typewriter font but I think it's an actual typewriter it looks like an actual typewriter and then half of it is like computer um, but there's all these like great old photos which I think are all family photos um, I, here's my complaint you know just because I got a freezing in the mail doesn't mean I'm gonna give it carte blanche um, I don't I don't like this I don't like because I'm old now I'm 30 Woo! that's like a million in, in punk rock years I can't read like when it goes like this and then it breaks and then the line finishes over here like I used to I used to be okay with that and I'm not okay with that anymore I like um because I get confused because which line am I on and I reread the same sentence five times trying to figure it out um so I don't like that there's a but like see this this is great because you got your text and then a picture and then a picture and then your text and the text isn't actually broken up to me that's just bad layout um, but the stories are good. The, the photos are beautiful. The layout in, in general is great. There's like some different little obituaries. That's great. I really, I laid in bed and, and read this and I really liked it. Um, so yay. Good job, Joshua. And it makes me curious about other issues of basic paper airplane. Cause I've heard of it before, but this is the first one I've actually read. So thumbs up my last one land down under. This is coming from Australia. Are you ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. Oops, X-rated. Cover your eyes. Um, it's only January of 2011, but this is already my pick for a zine of the year. And I'll be very surprised if in the next 11 months I get a zine that I like more than this. Um, but that's just me. I like weird. I like sex. I like photos. Weird sex photos. Um, should I show them to you? Cover your eyes if you're under 18. Um, weird pornographic I'll just give you a quick flash just oh my god um I, I love it it's not it's I, I don't know I don't know how to I mean it's a guy here I'll cover it up this time it's a guy in like a weird mask and some hippie girl and they're playing bongos that they're sitting on someone and then like you see their whole crotch it's goofy it's weird it's not really sec I, it's kind of sexy some some parts of it mostly it's weird sex photos um pandora press I, I don't know how much it cost me five dollars eight dollars um i'll put up the email you can email them and ask them totally weird i totally love it uh that's it peace out